Good day everyone welcome to my channel. In today's video I will try to explain the new Edge of 8-6 event. Sit back and let's get started. It might be a two-part video so let me know what I missed. Materials Firstly there's two main materials which can be gathered. The moonshine which can be traded for resources, used for personal investment and contribution to clan research. Then there's the municipal debt card which can be used for building towers, construction of clan building and switching of clan skills. Cartel bootlegging. Moving on to the council hall interface where you can do investment and much more. The cartel bootlegging can be found there, basically there are three trucks once repaired each truck can be sent either on a pillaging or robbing of other players or shipment. While sending these trucks you can send along them berserk raiders or tactical raiders which escort the truck on its mission, with tactical raiders having a high combat level than the other. You can get whiskey, tequila and gen from pillaging or smuggling using trucks, doing this gives season points and materials which can be sold for rewards. How to get points? You can get points from killing mercenaries, raiding squadron with clan members, participating in the cartel bootlegging, reaching kill milestones, the war day contest objective and ranking, war drill station, zone kill ranking and special events like era of prohibition. Alliance in this new season cities can now make alliance with other cities working together for a more effective outcome, only mayor officials can perform certain actions consigning the alliance of cities. There are certain alliance buildings such as alliance center which once built, leaders of cities in alliance can teleport to within its jurisdiction also towers can be placed there expanding where each city can launch attacks from. Only the mayor or secretary can place this on a tower connecting to the city base of an alliance city, so basically if city A and city B are in an alliance, city A can place an alliance center on a tower connected to city B base and build more towers from there on, this is useful and in my opinion gives a whole new meaning to planning. The alliance fortress is a protection for lookout towers, it must first be destroyed by enemies before they can destroy the lookout towers it was placed to protect. The fortress can be reinforced with a maximum of 8 million troops by leaders of alliance cities. So basically if I am in an alliance with city C but city B is attacking an alliance fortress placed by city, I can therefore reinforce that fortress fighting alongside city C against city B. Lastly the alliance camp can provide steady supply of berserk raiders and materials, according to the round changes the tactical raiders can be unlocked once the chapter 1 main tasks is finished and you have alliance camp. I will get more information on this and update you with it, please be patient, let me know what you don't understand, what I said wrong or what you want me to cover thanks for watching and please subscribe.